Hello and welcome to tonight's CLNS Media Patriots Roundtable. I'm your host, Nick Kwai, sitting here with Mike Molino and with Marv Azan. And we were originally going to talk about the COVID test. There were four COVID tests that came out positive in the NFL. Going to talk about our concern level with that, which honestly, since we're not going to talk about it anymore, any positive test freaks me out. Because one of those guys who gets through infects everybody. So, yeah, I, my answer for that would have been terrifying to see any positive test. But right before we jumped on, we got some Patriots news, probably other than, you know, Cam Newton, uh, that guy. The biggest Patriots news of the training camp season, Mohamed Sanu cut from the Patriots. And this is worth noting, so whenever the show comes out in the next couple of days, uh, Ian Rappaport did tweet, the release won't be in time for today's wire, and we've been and we've seen examples of teams who ended up trading players they intended to release. With so many wide receiver needy teams, Mohamed Sanu is one to watch. So regardless, Mohamed Sanu will no longer be on the Patriots roster, whether that's via trade or as of right now, cut. So, guys, I mean, let's just give some reaction. It's a surprise to a lot of people, maybe not one Mike Reese of ESPN who kind of saw this coming, but... Why did the Patriots trade Mohamed Sanu? And is it fair to say that the Mohamed Sanu trade, remember last year they traded a second round pick. The Mohamed Sanu trade, just an absolute train wreck at this point. Marvin, let's start with you. What do you think? Yeah, in hindsight, it's it doesn't look good, right? You 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 give up a second round pick Looks terrible. To, to come in and then Sanu didn't didn't deliver. But there was there was a portion of you was like, okay, you know, you give him a year into the Patriots system. You know, he's working with Cam Newton the offseason. Maybe, you know, he will fulfill that, you know, second round value that you lost. He didn't. He got cut. But I'm not mad at the trade or, or mad at the move. The Patriots needed a receiver at the time. So new was available and they made that trade. And I think if you ask Bill Belichick, if he would go back in time, he wouldn't have regretted regret trading away that second round pick from Mohamed Sanu because at the time if you look back at it no one was mad for that trade at all yeah they said okay second round pick might be a little hefty but <sighs> Patriots were looking like a team to go going into the Super Bowl and you want to add more depth in the wide receiver position it didn't work out and this there's many reasons why it possibly didn't work out before the show we were just talking about the development of Nikhil Harry that's someone who you drafted in the first round pick it has to work out some t this year. You need to see what you have in Nikhil Harry. Hopefully, he's healthy throughout the season, and you know he can really perform. You also got a couple of guys in the wide receivers position, young guys who are really stepping up. You got um, Demir Bird. He's a speedy, you know, takes the top off the defense receiver, and they've been use utilizing him a lot during training camp. If you read the reports. Cam, Brian Hoyer, those guys really throw the ball deep to Demir Bird to really, you know, see what they can get out of him. And he's been performing very well. I mentioned another receiver before on this show in Jeff Thomas. And if he can get his head straight, he is another dynamic receiver on this team. And you also got, the, you know, guys who are fighting to make the roster still in J Jacoby Myers and Gunner. So Patriots have a lot of depth in the wide receiver position. And if you look at Sanu and Nikhil Harry, they pretty much do the exact same. You're asking them to do the same exact role. You know, they're both, they're not guys that, are in the, that can play the outside, but they are usually slot receivers, tough nose. You, hopefully they catch it and, you know, they get some yards after the carry. So after the catch. So kind of makes sense after a while that, you know, Bill Belichick cut Muhammad Sanu, it sucks. You know, I thought that Sanu could be a great value for this team, but here we are. Yeah, and I, you, so you mentioned Bird, we talked about this before the show. I think another guy, because you've seen a ton of just glowing reports about him in, in camp, is Gunnar Olszewski, which I think absolutely, if if he's going to be as good as what we've seen in camp so far from this guy, he put on weight over the offseason. I forget who said it, so sorry to whoever said it, but... One of the beat reporters said that last year it looked like a high school kid from Foxborough High coming onto the field when Gunner would show up to the field. This year he looks like a legit NFL player. And you mentioned the slot. Gunner, a slot guy, if he's going to make this team and if he's going to actually have a legit role in this offense this year, I wouldn't be shocked if that's another p key pivotal reason as to why the Patriots are done with Mohamed Sanu. 
Mike, what do you think? Why did the Patriots decide to make this move? And is it fair to say that the Mohamed Sanu deal is a train wreck at this point? Yeah, I mean, sad to see that it didn't work out with Mohamed Sanu. You know, once the Patriots signed Cam Newton, a video that followed up very soon after was uh, Mohamed Sanu and Cam Newton working out together. And, you know, Cam Newton telling Sanu, oh, you guys got a dog now. You guys got a dog. And, you know, just coming off of that video, knowing that, okay, Cam Newton's coming back, you know, ready to put in work. And Mohamed Sanu, who's coming up, who's coming off of a pretty sorry year, last year you know probably looking to bounce back you figure these guys or two guys can have chemistry work together and help produce for this Patriots team and it's just sad to see that that won't be the case now Uh, Muhammad Sanu is no longer in the picture and on the depth chart uh at wide receiver with the New England Patriots but that just goes to show me you know they might really like what they see in the Keel Harry, and at the same time, it puts a lot more pressure on the Keel Harry to produce this year. Like Marv said, you know, this is a guy that the Patriots drafted really early, and you're not drafting a guy that early if you're not expecting him to produce, you know, on your team immediately. And if there was ever time for the Keel Harry to step up big time, it's now. The last time, you know, we had a show, um, we hyped up Mr. Sanu, and a lot of us thought that he was probably the second option to Julian Edelman on this team in terms of wide receiver. I think all of that now falls in the lap of Nikhil Harry. He's going to be the number two guy that they're going to need to step. They're going to need him to step up big time and, um, and produce, you know, obviously you have better in there Julian Edelman, who is probably not going to take much for him and Cam to get going. And from all the reports we've seen out of training camp, Edelman and, and, and Cam Newton have been fine, but it's going to be who is that next guy that can that can help perform and produce. And that's going to be Nikhil Harry. You know, a couple other guys, Berg, uh, Gunner, you know, Jeff Thomas. All in all, the Patriots wide receiver depth chart is pretty sorry right now. You know, not to say that with Sanu, they were like one of the top, you know, wide receiving groups in the NFL. But you take <laughs> You take some new other picture and it just makes it even worse. You know, it goes to, it now raises the question will the Patriots now make another move in terms of a trade or sign? I don't even know who's necessarily out there, but it's 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 a pretty sorry group right now. Obviously, you believe Julian Edelman produced, but after that, maybe Nikhil will live up to his draft expectations. Maybe Jacoby or Gunner or Bird will step up and be another option. I don't know, but it's Rick looking real, real, real shaky right now for the Patriots wide receivers and the options that the starter Cam Newton will have once the season starts. Right. And in after getting this news, I mean, I think it's I think it's probably a mixture. I mean, Nikhil Harry showed up. I mean, not Nikhil Harry. Amam Sanu showed up last year, and I just saw this tweet from Zach Cox. And the, he had one really good game where it looked like, okay, Bill, you did the second round pick worth. And I don't know if you guys remember. Mob Sanu had 10 catches for 81 yards and a touchdown in his That's second right, game with the Patriots. Yep, hurt his ankle the next week, and he was never the same. Totaled 15 catches on 33 targets for 144 yards and no touchdowns over his final seven games and didn't stand out in camp. So from the reports from, like, Mike Reese, you talk about, you talk about how he was sluggish running routes. You talk about how he was dropping passes in training camp. And if you have all of these guys, multiple reports from multiple receivers that these guys are really stepping up this camp, well, then I think it's pretty obvious. And we should have saw it coming almost if you look into the details like Mike Reese did. Sanu just doesn't fit onto this roster the way that he did last year. In regards to the trade last year, I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be with Marv. The Patriots needed a receiver. At one point, we were like, this team could go undefeated, and then that fell apart real quick. But they needed a receiver, and they got one in Sanu, who at the time we were like, okay, great, this is a very solid receiver. Again, ended up just not working out that way. 